Look What's Cooking is brought to you by the Culinary Institute of Virginia. Hi, I'm Bonnie Johnson, and I'm here with Chef John Maxwell from the Culinary Institute of Virginia. And tell us your title again. Yeah, I'm the director of the Food Service Management Education Program here. Well, we teach a bachelor's degree in food service management. So in other words, he knows a lot about food, and he's going to talk to us today about what? Well, one of my specialties is southern food. I travel around the world teaching hotel chefs how to cook southern food. And this is a, a, a modern take on an old classic, black-eyed peas and stewed tomatoes for the holiday. And we've made some hop and john and some stewed tomatoes. Oh, great. Well, it looks and smells yummy. Let's tell us how to make it. All right. Well, the Hop and John is, uh, is basically rice and beans, black-eyed peas, that are cooked together with some ham, bacon. Uh, I add a little tomato and some spinach in it to give it some nice color. Uh, and we saute that down. Now, I use frozen black-eyed peas because it's quicker, it's cleaner, it doesn't get that gray look. You can see how nice and, and individualized the beans still show up in there, and mm -hmm. that's nice. And I did a quick stew on the tomatoes with some vinegar and some chicken stock on, in a covered pot to just simmer them down. I didn't cut them up, didn't add sugar. It's just really nice, clean tomato taste on top of that hop and john. And you also kind of peeled them with your, your burnt looking fingers, I thought. Right, well, they, <laughs> they, they, they slide right off. But, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, reaching into pots and pulling stuff out. So I'm, I don't have any... Uh, <laughs> Fingertip. uh, fingertips <laughs> left, but uh, I wouldn't advise that to happen at home. You can give little tongs or something, and they can take it off. But the skin's not bad. I was I mean, going to say, or you could, you could leave just it leave them right on. Yeah. And we're going to have this recipe on our website. You did mention, of course, the Culinary Institute, your bachelor's program. They have a website, chefba.com. That's correct. And you can go up there and you can see the uh, casual gourmet classes where you can come out and have a professional chef teach you how to cook a little bit better at home. Well, if you want to do that, be sure to check it out again, chefba.com. For this recipe, wtkr.com.